welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. Today we're actually continuing our unboxing of Giant Killer Robots. Um, and this is by Weta Workshops in conjunction with Cryptozoic. So if you want to look at the base game and everything you get in retail, go ahead and check out the other video. I'll put a link in the bottom. So this is the Kickstarter exclusive and stretch goals. They put them all in a nice full cardboard box. This can go on the shelf as well. So this is a matte black box. Beautiful. Let's crack it open. This is another big box. So there's a few things I didn't get and we'll go through that here. So here's the exclusives rule book. So this goes through um, mercenaries um, and some, some different buildings and different things that you can do and some extra terrain tiles they included here. So just a couple pages of extra rules. Here's, um, I talked about this in the main game, in the main game unboxing. Here's a, it's a bunch of water slide decals. I wonder if I'll, let's get these out. So these are just to, I'm going to put these on all the, uh, the little support robots. So there's two full sheets and they're both very different. So you got a bunch of numbers and identification markers on here. And then this one has just a bunch of different icons and just all the cool stuff so you can make your guys unique and kind of pimp them out. So that's something I was very, very excited. I think it's really cool that they put that in there. So we've got some terrain tiles here. Just something extra. They're one-sided. So you have things like an unexploded nuke, giant sinkholes, just some rubble, and then craters. So that's what the rules, those extra rules were there for. And then the, these are the kind of the the Hapsy. Hapsy's kind of like the, you know, soda drink sponsor of, of, of all the games. And that's kind of the big shtick. So these are some Hapsy themed buildings that you can have that do a little bit different. You have some extra tiny rules than the regular buildings. So those are cool. Just a bit, bit of color, a bit of splash there. Here's something I'm very excited for. Okay. These are the tactile player boards. So these are full plastic, similar to what you'd get in um, the Zombie Side series, those tactile boards. Stack of cards here, stack of cards here, stack of cards here. And then you can stand up your cards in this little bit for your support card, if you were so inclined, don't have to. And then there's another track here for your little marker that you would slide in there. Let's see. Of course I put it away. Well, yeah, put it away. But one of those for each player. So it's nice just to add a bit of longevity to your game. Very happy with those. Okay, we'll get to this in a second. So these are the mercs. Don't, don't, it uh, doesn't look like they come in any kind of plastic. So these are just, these are gray neutral ones that you can pick up. I don't necessarily know the rules for these, if it's something that you would draft or something extra you would include. But yeah, these are great looking miniatures. And these are gray and these are unwashed. These are completely plain unwashed plastic. They're cool, just something a little bit different. And when you claim these, there's a small little baggie of these pegs and you literally just put your peg in the back, each one of these has a hole. So you just, this is the green one. Instead of using like um, rings or anything like that. So is that going very well? Eh, that's not the greatest fit in the whole world. Maybe this is a different thing for those, but yeah. You would typically just mark those, this is my green one, kind of thing. That way everyone knows. Ooh. Well. Let's just open these. Ooh. These are extra cards. So we've got the Merc cards down here. So these are... Oh. Oh my gosh. This is like blinding me. So these are full hollow cards. And these are beautiful. And these are all the pilot cards of each different color. Jeez. These are so awesome. Uh, give yourself... A photo epileptic fit looking at these at times. Oh, 
Might, might be a little bit harder to read the text on these. Oh wow, and they've got them for the orbital shocks as well. And these are these are extra cards that go in. Wow, and then these look like oh these are the mercenary support ones. So those are hurt my eyes a little bit looking at those, but they look awesome. Uh, we'll see about how practically those play. I'm gonna sleeve these immediately because I don't want to damage the foil on those. But those are beautiful, beautiful cards. I think that's really cool just to add some bling to the game. That is amazing. Very, very happy with those. These are something that I really wanted. These are the faction themed defense dice. So each kind of pile is a faction and they have their own two unique defense dice. So this this one's the Hapsi can. And you got this, I don't know the names, but this guy here and then the purple ones and these gray ones. So there's a defense dice. You only ever use two defense dice. Those are going to replace the two black dice, which will be passed around generically. So now everyone's got their own dice, which is amazing. And then here's the other part. This is an extra add-on. This is a Hapsi can. Again, extremely thematic from their standpoint. And I believe this isn't just... I thought it was just, oh, it would be a little can. This is a full genuine thermos flask that you can actually use. So you got a silica gel packet in there. So this is a full thermos flask that comes with a straw. I'm gonna wash this before I use it. And like you could actually airtight rubber seal on here. You can use this to genuinely unironically drink out of. Which is insanely cool. And this is metal. 12 fluid ounces, or you can just use it to hold all your dice in. And let's take a look at the dice. So these are, there's enough attack dice, one, two, three, four, five, three, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six. So each faction, I now have attack dice and defense dice for each one. Now the attack dice match the color of your heavy hit, so that's nice. And here, so here you've got, oops. These orange ones and the sixth face has the kind of faction symbol on and that symbol matches the symbol that's on the base of each of the heavy hitches. So you got the yellow one and the green one and the blue one. And these are these are embossed. This isn't just printed on. And they're kind of textured. The defense dice, on the other hand, what these are a bit these are shiny, and these are just printed on. They don't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon. But this is um this is kind of a print-on effect. You can see there's no texture there. So there's a little, just a little bit different there. But how awesome is that? Then we have oh, some more of these. So these, uh, there's more of these little trackers. And these are actually used, and again, this is partly why I'm gonna sleeve the game. These are used to track the hit point total that each of these support units is at. So obviously on a foil card like this, I don't want to be doing that, so I'm going to get these in the sleeve so we can play around with that. But that's what these are for, so there's some extra ones for the Merc cards. Oh, these are the, this is the Urban Wasteland stuff. So there's some extra rules here, and we'll get here to, so you've got sentry guns. Ooh, yeah, oh, there's so much good stuff in here. So the, here are some... Sentry guns, one for each faction, and presumably these are automated turrets that just kind of sit here and do your thing. These all have 900 values or more, so these are going to go very first in the rounds typically. They don't cost any energy, they don't have a long range, they don't do a little bit of damage, but it's there to keep doing, you know, sustained little damage over time. So that's neat, extra one for each player. There's more of these corporate tokens. And these ones, they're exactly the same as the other ones, other than the fact that these are kind of a translucent plastic. Other than that, identical in size and shape. Just different flavor if you want them. And there is an absolute boatload of those. Even more in here. So that's just, if you want to play with those ones because you like to look at them better, there you go. Here's the sentry guns. 
And these work similar to building toppers. You literally stick these on top of buildings. And then depending on range or whatever, your sentry guns are going to start blasting away at stuff. So each faction has three of those that you can put out. So that's neat if you want to include those in your game. Then there's a bunch of stickers. And I believe these are straight stickers. These are not water slide decals. And these have no mechanical game function, but they're stickers. They're just here for you to decorate your awesome buildings with and to stick all over stuff and make it look cool. So just extra fun little stuff. Who doesn't want more? And then we have the buildings. So there's some new bits and pieces here. So there's new building toppers. I'll get the other one out here. So this is the old building topper. And here's the new one. The new one has this cross piece in the middle. And that's because they included some building toppers. Again, I don't believe these perform any kind of game function. They just give some variety to your building. So you go. It's got a big radar on it. It's got a little hapsy can on it. Just something a little bit different there. Okay, so that was kind of the building toppers. So here's, here's the rest of what's in this box. And these are plastic pieces for plastic buildings. I'm going to kind of get some stuff out the way here. So if you don't want to have those cardboard buildings, you might let's set up and take down might be a bit too much. These, you can just put these together and it's these plastic ones. And they just use these new um, toppers. They use the same bases as the original buildings. Just put them on here, just like that. And they're just a bit more tactile. You could, if you wanted to, you could glue these together. Because if you look, these are just, they're plastic. Very durable. You'd have a hard time breaking these. But these are actually, they've got pins in them. And they've got holes where they will slot together. And so they don't stay very well, like, unglued. But once you put them in these guides, and you put a topper on them, these don't come apart. So these keep them in place. Now, you always want to be able to remove them from the base so that you get this cool rubble with um, the topper on it. But in theory, you could glue all of this together so that you had kind of permanent buildings. Your setup is in that. Now, knowing that you've now got to find storage space for these, but that's why they gave you a big box. But this is something extra that I found cool. And if you look, here's kind of a big empty sign space. That's what these were all for. Just for making these kind of gray drab buildings look a bit fancier. You could, I mean, this is a painter's delight. If you like terrain painting, spray these, wash them, do some dry brushing, stick some stickers on them, boom. You've got some unbelievable looking buildings. But that's what these are. There's a ton of these, and they're, they're not all the same size. They're not all uniform, so that you get a nice spread across your kind of urban wasteland, is what it's called. So if you look here, I mean, this building is significantly taller. So that's cool, just to give some variety. But I think that was everything in here. I mean, I mean that was, this. just, none of this is integral for play or needed. You've got the extra minis, the mercs, totally add those on. The sentry guns, totally add on. Every, I think everything else pretty much is, um, I, think the, I think these orbital strikes are extra as well. These specific ones, I don't know if that's the case. I think I saw rules for those. Orbital strikes. It wasn't in that bit. Maybe that was in a different rule set here. And the exclusives here. Components. Overview setup. Gameplay. Yeah, I think. I think I think those were extra. So those. But everything else is entirely cosmetic, from the dice to the buildings. Um, to these new um, building toppers that are see-through, all the stickers and stuff. Even the tactile boards, really it's all cosmetic. 
nothing's, you know, oh, my game's incomplete without any of the stuff. It's really not. I just wanted the extra stuff to make it the best. You know, I like the tactile element of the game. So that is everything that's in what I got for, for these. There is some bits and pieces I didn't get. There is a full um, heavy hitter mech that's a Merc. I forget what his name is. So there's a full gray one of, of these that's huge in size. Um, you could get the Painter's Edition, which had all the miniatures disassembled and unpainted so you could make them and do your own color scheme. And there may have been some other bits and pieces that I didn't pick up, but I got everything that you know I felt I really wanted for the game that I could justify spending money on at least. So that's it. That's that's the extras for kind of the wasteland, urban wasteland and Kickstarter exclusives. So if you're going to pick these up on the aftermarket, just make sure you know exactly what's in them because everything was packed in different boxes. So if you, so if you, this was an add-on for example. If you didn't add this on, it won't be in this box. But if you buy this box, you know, it might, it might have different things in it. So just make sure that you're careful that read the descriptions, that you're not just saying, oh, I'm getting the black box, it's got everything in it. Because it might not. It just depends on what people pledged for and what add-ons they got. So, that's everything here. I believe, out of all the stuff that I got, this was an add-on, and the water slide decals were an add-on. I think those, I think everything else was part of the urban wasteland expansion, I believe. I don't necessarily remember that exactly. So just be, be conscious of that, that's all. So that's it, that's everything from um, Heavy Hitches. You could see a review, there's actually a preview from Gen Con on our website already, theplayersaid.com, but we'll do a big video review and kind of show everything off here in a bit. So thank you very much for watching and I've been Alexander.